Hey everybody and welcome to Mark Magic Video Tutorials. My name is Phil and today I'm going to show you how to add variable graphics to your forms. Now if you're worried because you had a bad experience trying to add variable data or variable graphics to your forms before, don't worry, it's really easy to do with Mark Magic. Um, so on this statement here, we're printing the customer ID number using a data field. The data field is mapped to the spool file 10 positions worth. If you check on page 1, the customer ID number is 10050. On page 2, it's 13200. And on page 3, it's 21250. Now, we already have a text field on this form that's printing out the ID number. But we also want a logo print on each page that corresponds with the right logo. Uh, to the right form, obviously. We already have the graphics already converted here. Now take a look at the graphic names. That is where the customer ID number is located. And during the conversion process of the graphics, we have the option of customizing the graphics names. So it's important to set up the names exactly to the variable information from your spool file. So graphic one is 21250, graphic two is 10050, and graphic 3 is 13200. So click OK, and then all we have to do is add a new graphic to the form. Change the graphic name to asterisk link. This will allow us to tie the graphic the customer ID number. One important thing here, we have to tell MarkMagic the variable information that it is linking to, what that should compare to on the graphic, because graphics can have graphic numbers, graphic names, and descriptions. We want to compare the information to the graphic name. So choose N for the reference type. When you choose N, you'll see that the length changes to 10. Hit OK, save the document. Now, let's run a quick print preview. Let's see how it looks. Mark Magic logo shows up on the first page, Edge Magic for the second page, and the Cyber logo shows up for the third page. And that's how you add a variable graphic to your forms. Thank you.